I'll hopefully continue the the way the last season ended. I mean, season overall wasn't that good. I mean, the last last half it was was amazing, and and the first half not that good. So, kind of sets the pace for this year. I have to get better in the first races, and especially now we're going to Lake Louise in the week, and then you know if you if you wanna be around the overall globe or be up there and. That's kind of what I want, be there and, and fight with the others. Then I have to be, be fast from the first race, so that will be a big goal this year for sure. I expected it to be kind of different because I, in one way you dreamt of that since you were a little kid. And, and suddenly you're there and I mean the moment is it's extreme. It's an extreme moment just being there and, and that feeling yet you can't really describe it. But then. I mean that pass is pretty quick. It's uh, it's there for the moment and then it's kind of gone. But so it's I've never kind of sat down and and thought like, hey, that's I'm an Olympic champion. It's more like, you know what? It's uh, pretty much similar to last year. You have to get up in the morning and train as you did the other years around. So this is how it is. A little weird for sure. I mean he's been. Uh, a guy, if you look, if you look away from his Beaver Creek crash, he's had no ligament injuries, uh, not no big ma major injuries, which most athletes have during a a, a career. So, you know, we, he's always been there, and now suddenly he's the guy who's who's out. So, I mean, he's had a stable stable career. So maybe it was his turn now, but it's been different for us for sure. I mean, we're we're a small team, we're a good team, uh, probably. The two of us together was one of the strongest speed teams uh, in the world, basically. And uh, now you kind of cut that in half. It makes it a little different in training. I don't really get that feedback. Like we used to go hard against each other and pushing the limit all the time. And you knew that if I beat Axel, I was fast. If, if Axel beat me, it was probably fast. So, you know, that, that thing stuff is gone. So uh, makes it a, a little different in training. Uh, the challenges, uh, trying to eat enough donuts, I guess. I mean, I this is my favorite place uh, skiing uh, during the season, and I going back here for a road trip is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm sure, there's some time difference zones, but the always the issue is going back. It's being here and flying back to Europe, flying from Europe to the world champ is going to be sweet because then you just like prolongs the day. Um, so no, I'm I'm really looking forward to it and. Uh, Think about it, my Beaver Creek is one of my favorite hills. So we do a lot of cool courses during the year, but one thing is like look at the big jumps, look at the all the spectacular stuff in it. But another thing is like the flow when you're skiing yourself, you kind of feel if this feels right or not. And, and Birds of Prey Island has like a beautiful flow to it. You start off and then it's fast and it's difficult. It's got big jump, but it still kind of feels very nice to ski. And ah, it's a uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great event, it's a great hill, but also the way the guys work with the, with the hill and the snow, uh, all the volunteers over in Beaver Creek, I mean it's the, the best conditions we have every year is in Beaver Creek. Uh, hopefully we'll have the same for the, for the World Champs and even, even a little more light as it's in February instead of December, so oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, well, first of all the Copper is uh, it's a great venue for us. Uh, Normally, you, before they did, before they made this, basically, we didn't have any place to go a full length downhill on Super G training before we went to Lake Louise. And so, for sure, it's a huge advantage being able to be here. And and as you can see, the most of the top ranked people in the world are trying to get in there and trying to to be a part of the training. So, so it's uh, I mean the base the training from the hill and the conditions are really good, and it's a tough tough hill as well. And in addition to that, you get good training because you're competing against the same guys, which you will most likely compete against in in a couple of weeks time so oh, it's really good and uh, you know we're happy to be here happy that we are allowed to ski I mean the, the US guys controlling who's coming in and who's who's not so uh, you know it's been a good couple of weeks especially the speed racers we're down the racers that share kind of the same destiny it's almost as much racers against the course as it is racer against racers on start so we we form a special bond up there so I it's good to see everybody again, and there's, uh, I think there's 90% of the people on the tour is nice guys, and then, but of course, we're competitors, so 
when we're here in trading, no one wants to lose. But still, I, it's good to be in a sport where you get on start and then you can shake hands and talk to the people there and you don't have to be, you know, I hate you, you hate me, but here, we're on the same place, so let's, let's race.